Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and this is my video blog entry for uh, Sunday, May 18th, 2014. I've got a, uh, two things I want to talk about, and then a little rant I want to talk about, about two other things. Uh, first thing is, I went to the movies yesterday, and I saw Godzilla. And I don't know if you can see these, but on the way home, I picked up two double features. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. The, the Destroyer. Um, or not the, but just Destroyer. Which I watched both of those when I got home. And then this one is Godzilla vs. King Gordera. Or Ghidorah, sorry about that. Godzilla, ver, or Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth. Um, I've seen the original Godzilla vs. Mothra, but I haven't seen this one, so I'm excited to, to see those. I had seen part of the Space Godzilla one and part of the Space Destroyer one, so I was, I was happy about those because I knew I liked both of those. So anyway, if you like monster movies or anything, or you're an old school Godzilla fan, you've got to go see this movie. It is awesome. So, with that being said, the next thing I want to talk about is I promised to show this when I got it done. And this is my microphone isolation box. Okay, so I got it on the mic stand now. And I just want to explain this really quick. Uh, I'm going to set it this way. You can see my mic up here. And this is a pop filter. And this is a, the pop filter comes down and it clamps here, which is what's actually holding this whole thing up. Um, I could just let it set to where it's on this piece, and but it wouldn't have the, in it, an, uh, would not have an adjustable height on it. As long as you have a clamp here, you can adjust the height of it though. Uh, the board about an inch back is cut. On the inside, there's a countersink that has a bolt that comes out to right here and it screws through a hole in the box itself and then it has two screws on either side of the board here that actually screw it back into the rest of the 2x4. Now this 2x4 comes down to here back to here so that the whole box has a place to sit basically. I cut it off a little short on purpose so that it wouldn't be quite so far sticking out and it wouldn't be even with it it's it makes it easier to to not hit yourself on it so this actually the way I have it it secures it to the board which makes it set flat um, and it lets me use the pop filter you can use a C clamp or like a, some sort of spring clamp a C clamp um, you can use a I would think you could use a, a hose clamp as well to get it to work right. I am going to make a video on that to show the whole process. Um, I've already got one for just the box, but the whole process of the box and being able to make it set on the uh, microphone stand as well. Um, so anyway, the next thing I want to talk about uh, is every time that my family or myself my family or myself go anywhere when like if we go out to eat someplace especially going out to eat for some reason it's just like the the waitresses act like they don't want to wait on us they don't ever want to you know give good service or anything every now and then we get a a crazy person who's down to earth and they're awesome and but I mean like 90% of the time we get these absolute shit waiters and waitresses who they don't give a damn at all if you get anything that you order or you get what you want or anything at all and we went to Steak and Shake yesterday just as an example of this happening okay so you know Steak and Shake has these big milkshakes well they they bring out their food and all, or our food and all, and I had forgot to order a milkshake. So <clears throat> the waitress did not come back until 
I had finished all of my food and I had finished all of my the tea I had got and so she come back and she she poured me a little tea and I said I would like to you know, order a shake and I had really been wanting to get really been wanting the Butterfingers I don't eat candy much so every now and then I really like a, a bar of candy or something just every now and then I'm not too big on it to be honest but I had been wanting the Butterfingers and they have a Butterfinger shake and it, it was really good so <clears throat> I I was like well I want to get one of the Butterfinger shakes and Jessica was like, well, I want one of the, the mint chocolate shakes or whatever it is. It's like an Andy's mint shake or something. So anyway, they come out and they give us shakes in a thing as big as this Mac Cafe cup. It's a to-go cup. It does have a little dome lid, but it's not even filled up to maybe here on it. And she goes, she drops them off straight back to the back again and in less than a minute this guy walks by to another table with shake glasses from here to here it took two of these to be about the same as that one and I'm like that's just not right I don't usually complain I'm usually the last person to complain about something at like to the people at a restaurant or something but I'm tired of taking people's shit. I'm tired of getting walked on and all this shit. So I went up and I asked to speak to the manager. And I told him, I said, you know, we get these little to-go cups while we're sitting in your booth. We're not going out the door or anything. We're sitting in the booth eating. And we get these little to-go cups. And past walks another guy who has these giant glasses. What is that about? Oh, it's the same amount. I swear it's the same amount. I'm like, bullshit. I, I flat out said, bullshit. I said, I have eyes. I can see I am not stupid. Oh, I swear it's the same amount. Bullshit. I said, you know, just don't even worry about it. I, I went and I sat back down. And it just, he, he went and got our waitress and brought her over there and said, okay, why did you bring them to-go cups? And she's like, well, they said they wanted it to go. I'm like, bullshit. We never said we wanted anything to go. Never once said we wanted it to go. We wanted it for here. Okay, this stuff has, like, cookies, broken up candy bars and stuff like that, and they're supposed to bring you a glass with a spoon. And there was no spoon. I mean... It makes no sense why she would think that we wanted it to go to start with. So that, it really pissed me off. So it kind of, I guess it kind of leads into this next thing. Night before last, I was having a lot of problems with my Wacom tablet. Uh, it would not work. I had a, I fixed it myself actually about 20 minutes after I sent Wacom um, after I sent their tech support an email and so my problem was that it would not add any more programs to the customization menu for hotkeys and I mean there was only three programs plus default or all other plus three programs is the way it says it. So the settings were all other. Uh, Corel Painter, Corel Paint Shop Pro, and Sketchbook Express. So I'm thinking, well, maybe you can't put but three programs. So I take Sketchbook Express off of there because I bought Sketchbook Pro and it's awesome. Um, I highly suggest Sketchbook Pro. <clears throat> I do highly suggest Wacom tablets. They are amazing. But <clears throat> it just would not work. And I finally figured out, didn't figure out why it done it, but I, I figured out that I could 
you know restore the the profile on there and when I restored it to the backup I had made it worked fine so anyway um what I sent to tech support said <clears throat> you know I have a Wacom Enchilus Pro and I'm trying to add customization for the hotkeys for additional programs I said I recently upgraded from Sketchbook Express to Sketchbook Pro and it will not let me add Sketchbook Pro to the menu I said I delete it Sketchbook Express to see if it would let me add it then and then it would not let me add either one of those nor any additional programs period back to the menu therefore I can't save any of my customizations and <clears throat> I said is there anything I can do to fix this and the response that I get from this idiot you have to add now it, it said sketchbook pro and express are two different programs you have to add additional programs to be able to customize them no fucking shit you dumbass seriously I mean come on what the fuck did I say in the goddamn email to you I mean they are they didn't even read it. He s happened to see Express Pro. He didn't even read the damn thing. Oh, you have to add the additional programs to customize it. No shit, you dumbass. So I said, I mean no offense, but you're a dumbass. You didn't even read the damn email. I said I tried to add it, and it would not add additional programs. You need to fucking read the goddamn emails people send you. And I hope that it pisses that son of a bitch off. I really hope it does. I'm being very disgruntled, I guess is what they call it. But, you know, it just, it really pisses me off when people try stupid shit like that. I wouldn't contact tech support if I didn't need help. Okay, and I honestly, I like I said, I fixed it 20 minutes after I emailed them. But for that stupid son of a bitch to not even bother to read the whole email and then imply that I was stupid about it I'm a million times smarter than him apparently I mean seriously could you not read I tried to add additional programs and it will not <clears throat> will not do it oh you have to add additional programs to customize them. you dumb fucker I swear to God anyway that's my rant <clears throat> um I guess I'll put up a disclaimer about my cussing. In it. Anyway, though, uh, now that I've got my box made up and I I can do my videos here if I need to, I'll probably be doing a few more videos. Uh, but <clears throat> I'll probably have my mic on the rest of them after this as well. So hopefully, I'm going to get some other things going on. And today is supposed to be a, a really good day for me uh, yesterday was an awesome day besides those two dumbass things happening so anyway uh, today I'm hopefully after I wake up because I haven't been to bed yet and I'm going to bed now uh, after I wake up I'm cleaning out my room my bedroom and my studio which has a ton of junk in it I didn't put it there someone else put it there <clears throat> it is getting cleaned out today so I can go in there and hook up my keyboard and write some damn music I have been itching to write some piano music and I'm gonna do it so I don't care what it takes when I get up somebody is gonna clean that damn room out and I'm gonna be able to work on my music and my art and all my stuff and I'm gonna be happy so anyway I hope everybody has a great day